Welcome to Coding Locker, guys. This is Shant Prashwaryani, and this is the next part where we want to see that how we can load dynamically our components. So, if you guys already following my playlist, then you should be uh, having this code with yourself. So, you can see I have you know hard coded or uh, rendered these employees. So, what we will do, we will render this in a kind of for loop. You can say right the dynamically one. We'll see how we can render that. After that, we will see how we can delete an item uh, from the list. We will see what is this triple dot in JavaScript and we will understand the concept of key as well. What if we add the key? What if we do not add that key? Okay, so let's begin. So to begin with, you can see that in the employee object, I already have uh, my employees one and two objects. So let me copy this and uh, here. So instead of uh, like uh, renting this, I will have to add in a, some sort of loop. So what I have to do, I have to start with a curly braces. Now you should be aware that everything which dynamically needs to be loaded uh, has to be inside the curly braces. So this dot state dot my employee object dot map. I'm going to make use of this map function, which is a JavaScript function, which will convert this in array. And then uh, we will iterate through and will load employees one by one. So in that, maybe I can take two parameters. So let me wrap it with one more bracket and the another parameter is the index so i'll start with the arrow function and write it like this so let me close this and one more time maybe okay so this dot state dot map then we have uh, started we have not we have started this one and then we have close this like this so and let me press alt shift f this is because of the prettier prettier so you can see i have uh, in the visual studio code in the extensions so uh where it is yeah this one okay so that's why i'm able to run or format my code so this dot state dot employee dot map emp and index so next what i want i want to render the employee object so in the employee object before i actually render i have to return what i want to return the employee object which has the name property so in the name in the process i can write like emp dot name and there is one more parameter which is the uh, experience so i can write experience equals to emp dot exp right so these are the two things let me close this Alt shift f once again so these are the two parameters i'm passing name and experience and if i go to this my employee then you can see i added one more actually p tag which is uh, renting the experience the second property and we already have this uh, button so yeah that should be fine so let me now comment it out these hard coded things let me press ctrl s so and one more thing so it is on the condition show employee maybe we do not we can make it to true because we are not going to follow a previous example we have already seen the use case of show employee the value is uh, true by default so at page load we should see the rendering of the component you can see now we are not doing it uh, in a in a in a hard code manner rather we are doing like this so you can say we have covered that part render list dynamically now next how do we delete an item from the list now first thing before i uh, delete any of the uh, item from the list we should have a some method right so let me create a method called delete employee handler and you all know that we should have the handler now it would expect any employee index again it's a kind of arrow function so to remove an item from my list uh, again i'll uh, i'll uh, try to make use of uh, the javascript functions uh, and you should be familiar with this let's suppose const at first i will get the employee so const emp equals to this dot state dot employee i have taken that list of the employees then emp dot splice so this would delete an item so i have to provide the employee index that which item i want to delete and then how many items so the one after that i have to make use of this dot set state and what i want to set i want to set employee once again 
with EMP. Now hope you are clear with the code. So what I am doing, this is your employee state. So I am getting all the employees and then uh, doing employee.splice and then setting the state once again. So this is how we do so. Now once you have uh, done this, next is we need to call the method here. So how do I call this method? To call, we can go to this employee.js. You can see I already have binded one method. Uh, we bind it in the previous uh, part. So let's rename, meaningful rename, uh, delete me. So what it is doing, it is expecting a method called my click. So come back here and provide my click. My click. And this dot delete and parameter we need to pass this uh, sorry first parameter is this and the second one is index so if you are worried about the syntaxes what i am writing i have already explained in my previous part this is how we call the method this is how we pass the parameter so index whatever we are getting from here we are passing to this delete employee handler and then we are removing this this is the simple javascript code in order to delete any of the object any of the item from an object so this is a done uh, yeah, let me press the control s and uh, let it compile and we will see do we have our change or not we have so you can see we have delete me button with me so if i click here see the xyz is deleted if i click here that is also deleted so we have seen delete item from the list as well now i will press a f12 and will show you something so in the in the in the text in the console actually you can see we have an error list should have a unique key property and that is where the we will introduce id uh, id as a unique key now before i add this uh, we have forget to introduce this triple dot what it is basically uh, the way we have uh, done here the splicing method is to delete an item this is not the recommended way in any language uh, in the javascript even so what it will do you know everything which you pass in the in the javascript for an object they are passed as a pass by reference so what does that mean so you have taken the emp perfect then you are removing emp uh, one item from that emp but it is not uh, removing only from from this emp rather it is getting removed from this employee list as well right that is that is not the correct way so you should make sure that you create a new array the independent array right so and how do we do so there are two things one is the slice method like this if you if you follow this pattern then it will create a new array emp and the the it will not hold the reference of this employee object it's a new array and if you now delete it will be deleted only from this emp and this e employee will always be untouched so this is the one way but as i said uh we should focus on the ext uh e sorry ex ex6 uh, features so what it suggests you it suggests you this triple dot and how do we uh, use this const emp equals to start an array triple dot then this dot state dot employ this will do the same thing for you it will create a new object new array for you and assign in the emp and they both will be identical this emp one and this employee one meaning that if you change in this emp it will not impact this employee it will be the uh, same whatever you assign at the top so let's see do we have the same condition so this is the output is same but this time we are doing with a better approach and this should be the recommended one this is actually now the third uh, thing and the last thing actually for uh, uh, this should be the fourth one so the last thing is adding id as a unique key so how we do so we have seen in the console we have uh, we are getting some exception the unique key and to solve uh, this error that is pretty simple you need to pass some id which has to be a unique one here uh, here so do you have the uh, unique id no we do not have so let's modify our employee object let me add uh, some id so whenever whenever you are doing from a database uh, from a practical example then you will always have the id in your object right now we are doing it from locally we are creating uh, object so that's why we do not have the id but i have added that since uh, you have the id now you can always uh, use id here so let me press enter here and add a key and add me key emp dot id that's the only change you have to make let it compile and then we will try to delete once again and hope 
we should not receive any exception on any error in the console one so let me clear it out at first now click on delete me see it has deleted and we do not have any warning any errors delete me that is done so that is all uh, for today's uh, video guys uh, if you have any query any doubt any confusion you can always text me i would highly recommend guys uh, to suggest some uh, some of your experience some of the uh, questions you have because uh, my intent is to create a react tutorial playlist for the beginners and what i want to uh, complete the playlist in the last time that means i do not want you guys to invest like 20 hours 40 hours uh, for a course rather i just want you guys um, uh, to finish or uh, wrap up in the react js as quickly as possible that's why um, i am i am doing this in a in a fast manner so in case if i miss any of the thing then kindly let me know i would uh, really happy to uh, create the videos on that so thank you for uh, being at uh, coding locker and i would suggest or i actually i would request please do subscribe coding locker that would really help me in motivating and creating the more videos for you thank you for being at coding locker see you in the next video have a nice